good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of uh, the Nana, every one of you who are present here to take part. In. Now, if we want to grow agriculture, if we want to expand agriculture, then we really have to think how we want to treat agriculture whether you want to continue to treat agriculture as a part-time business, as a leisure activity, or as a business. The real meaning of business is this. That particular activity or enterprise, you do it for the market, number one. It's not for yourself. That business is for the market. Number two is that you want to make some profit that's a key thing. And out of the profit, part of it, you'll keep it or you'll save it. The other part, you'll reinvest. You expand. That's how supermarket chains have expanded. Hotels, they've expanded They're from one hotel. They've got two hotels or three hotels, four hotels. Shops, people have one shop, two shops, three shops. That's how. Right? Now, similarly, we want agriculture to be treated in the same manner. Where we want people who are working in the agriculture sector to treat farming as a business. Now, as government, we are here to assist farmers. Assist farmers so that they can do well. But Government also want agriculture to expand so that it can give income to the country. It can, you know, we can um, export, we can uh, reduce imports for the benefit of the country. Right? But for agriculture to expand, we cannot depend on part-time farmers, leisure farmers. We cannot. We cannot continue to pour money on farmers who don't, don't take agriculture as a serious activity. I want to give you some examples. Now most of you here are sugarcane farmers. Mr. Reddy? Sugarcane farmer? Mr. Reddy? Okay. What's your productivity per acre? How many tons you have as per acre? 30 to 35. Huh? 30 to 35. Langa Langa, what's the average? Anyone who can give me data, what's the average uh, uh, tons per acre in Langa Langa? Um, it might be 25 tons per acre, average. Yeah, 25 is, is not that bad. At the moment in Fiji, the average productivity is around 16 tons per acre. Now, 30 years ago, the average productivity about 30, 35 tons per acre. It started to come down slowly. Similarly, 30 years ago, unit cost was very low. To produce a ton of cane at that particular time, we should spend about 15, 16 dollars per ton. Per ton of cane. Now, to produce one ton of cane, what's the cost? Anyone? <laughs> okay. How much? Around 45 to 50. Not 80, not 90. Okay. Similarly, rice, if you look at 20 years ago, per acre, 2.5 to 3 tons per acre of rice was harvested. I'm talking about grains. Now, it's about 1 ton, 1.2 tons. Productivity has gone down. Now when your unit cost goes up, when farm productivity goes down, obviously you will not make much money. So what we want to do, what we are saying is that we will support, we will give you the leverage. But you will have to make the farm efficient. You will have to reduce costs. You have to raise productivity. Now, we also are looking at engaging more young youths in farming, farming. Because the agriculture sector is aging out. So, we will support. 
we have decided with the establishment of uh, Ministry of Water, Waste and Environment, we will take over all your drainage requirement. All your drainage requirement. We will do it. But this is 30, 40 years backlog. Cannot be done in six months or one year. Trust me. You want, some of you want us to do 30 years work in one year. It's not possible. There's a lot of limitations. Contractor, machine availability, weather condition. No, we were there at uh, Bodha. They were saying, don't bring the machines now because it's too wet. Wait till the dry season. So you can see, we are also limited, restricted, when we can come and do the drainage. We said, you want tractor, we'll bring the tractor tomorrow. I told them, like I did here last time. They said, don't bring the tractor now. They want it in September, no? They said it. So you see, we are also, we have obstacles. So what we are saying is that all your drainage requirement will do it. The gentleman there said, before the band was there, no water could come. Now the band has gone down, water is coming. No, it's not only about bunding. It's not only about that bunding. It's also about climate change. There are a lot of places, places before, villages, you know, settlements, there was no flooding. Now there's flooding because climate change, sea level rise. So we have to protect a lot of places, not only here. There are 25 sites, there are 25 sites that we are supposed to undertake riverbank protection and seawall by end of July. Right? Then after July in the next financial year, there will be another 25 sites. It will cost us close to 15, 16 million dollars every financial year. We'll do it. But we are saying it's a backlog. It was, should have been done a long time back. Right. But now we have decided that we have to deal with this. It's a real problem. The seawalls that are being eroded is threatening villages, communities, roads, schools, infrastructure. But these things, if it was done every year from the last 20 years, then it, you know, we would have done it quickly now. But we have got a backlog. But what I want to tell you is that we know these things need to be done. Every year we are allocating money. And we want to assure you that all of you here, we will protect you from threat from climate change. But it will take time. It will take a little bit of time. Be rest assured. You know? For this place, our priority now is this. One, we want to ensure we do drainage work for all you. Quickly, first priority, sugar area. Then outside sugar, all those drainage schemes that have got missed up, we will do it. Number two, we want to ensure that you get tracked out when you need to do your plowing. Now for that, if you need tractor, and the tractor is not here, because at the moment we don't have the tractor here, but if, you, if 10 farmers need it next week, we'll get the tractor. But we can't get the tractor for one farmer. What we will do, we will make an arrangement where we hire the tractor from a private sector. Let's say, let's say Timothy has a tractor. You pay him $28, we'll pay him the difference. He'll come quickly and do it. That's the way to go, rather than getting the tractor for one farmer. That's then we'll do that. So any of any one of you who really need to use to utilize tractor, we will that's the way we will do. So that'll solve the problem of getting tractor from all the way from Mandevu for one farmer. Number two, labor cost is going up. You have issues of harvesting rice, etc. We will provide one, what do you call it, ripa for this area. So when your rice is grown up, but but we want you to plant the rice that we are recommending. <coughs> we are recommending the rice variety. You plant that, we will support. But if you want to plant a rice of your choice, which the ripa can't harvest, that, that's your problem. You want to plant lalka mutka or china mutka, then ripa may not be able to harvest, then don't complain to us, because we didn't advise you to do that. Number five. We will today give you a small machine. We'll have to decide where it will be installed. 
so you can uh, mill your rice. So we will hand over the oil machine. It's in the so it's a machine here for all of you. So you can bring your own uh, paddy and you know, mill it, but they will organize who will pay uh, for the electricity bill that will be sorted out. So the machine is here. <laughs> okay. As uh, 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 director said, that we'll get the chemicals here. You don't have to go to Lambasa to collect the chemical. But again, you need to understand that we will have to ration the chemical, right? Both the chemical used for drenching of your animals, cattle and goat, as well as the chemical for weeding. Now, when we give inputs on subsidy, meaning inputs which does not reflect the true price, then what happens is that inputs get overused. And let me explain. Let's say, let's say you normal you'll do weeding. You do weeding, right? You'd go and do weeding using how, okay? But then we say, we'll give you one gallon of weedy side, ceramic zone or Carmex, for $5. You'll throw the hoe away. You'll go and buy the chemical. But still, you will incur some cost. So, over-utilization of chemicals. We want agriculture to move away from using inorganic fertilizer. So we will not be giving major subsidies for fertilizer because then people will overuse fertilizer. We will want to provide organic fertilizer, organic manure. We will do that, okay, going forward. So we will support you. We will provide seedlings and seeds whenever you want. You want seeds for rice, new variety, we will give you. There will be a, a new seed that will be given out end of this year for a high yielding variety of rice which if you do well, you can get about three tons or four tons on your farm. We will give it out to you at very low, low cost. By another three, four months time, uh, we can provide you with breeder ship that we have given out in, uh, in, the, in the, the Senganga, Tambia, uh, Malilawa area, Matiri. Those farmers, we want to give you a high yielding sheep breed that you can use that as a breeder. We have run out of it, but we will get some from, from, uh, from Nendi. That's where a lot of breeders are available. Eh? We'll be giving out end of this year, breeder goat, boar goat, bigger boar goat. Okay, again, very small price, very low cost. Okay, so that you can clean up your farm with the uh, local breed and you have this bigger one. Maybe by end of next year or so, we will start loaning out the new breed of cattle. Cattle, for dairy, it will give you three times more milk than what you get normal, okay, uh, from the normal local breed. And for, uh, for beef, it will be a much, much larger carcass. Okay? So, but you will have to see who are the pe people who can take agriculture forward as a business. We are willing to expand. Large livestock farmers, you tell us, we will come and plant on your um, uh, paddock half acre of pasture, junkau pasture, junkau grass, at our cost, at our cost, no cost to you. Just show us the place, half acre, we'll come, we'll plant it and we'll go. You look after it, that pasture, very high protein content, number two, it is it survives in drought area, drought condition, very good for dry time. Right. So. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of um, new programs. Uh, there are a few others that we will announce later on, but what we want to see is who are the young business-minded farmers that we can you know, hook up with and start doing this farming. We also will look at marketing side. We will want to talk to the marketing uh, companies who will come and pick up your uh, produce so that you don't have to worry about where to sell or who will buy your product. But that is something that we will look at later this year. So in the meantime, we want to see how you want to uh, get into expanding agriculture uh, with this leverage that we are providing. But again, 
We don't want you to be dependent on us. If you have assisted one farmer, then we want to move to next farmer, then next farmer, and next farmer. We cannot continue to assist just one farmer. You must understand that every farmer must get government support once, and then we will move to the other farmers, and they must grow. They must grow on their own. We don't want continuous dependency on government, grant government subsidy. Apart from that, a normal extension services will continue, provision of chemicals will continue, uh, advice will continue, our veterinary service will continue, we will continue to provide that. We want to um, uh, roster uh, the fully qualified vet once, uh, once a month might come and be here, stationed here and provide you with some veterinary service, qualified. At the moment, the ones you have here is para vet. Okay? So uh, once a month here, once a month in Sanganga and Sabsabu and Bua, we'll do that. We're waiting for one more recruitment. So we will have five full-time vet, if I'm right, uh, Avinash, and then we can do that. We will roster that. So you can have free veterinary service as long as you pick up and drop the person. Okay, so these are the kind of support we want to give. There's huge potential in livestock, and we want you to get into livestock too. We want to provide you with fencing material, but again, once. I don't know how come they give 25 coils to one farmer. We are giving five to six coils to one farmer. After that, you buy your own coil and expand. Okay? So some of these things, you will not like it. You won't be happy. But we're trying to clean up so that every farmer is supported. Every farmer is given the opportunity to grow. We want everyone to grow. Not just Timothy and Muttu and Sudesh. No. Because Muttu knows me, or Sudesh knows me, or Timothy knows him. No, we want everyone to grow, everyone to get government support. But once. After that, you grow on your own, we look after the other person, your neighbor. We now go to some places we see, one or two people in a village have been supported, the others haven't been supported. That's because they were not vocal, they couldn't talk to anyone, they couldn't call anyone. We don't want that to happen. We want everyone to be supported, everyone to grow, everyone to do well, okay? So, again, I want to assure you all that, you know, we will uh, uh, do the drainage of all that is required in this area. It's just that we are, we are being uh, limited uh, and we have been, our pace, our pace is being affected because of uh, number of contractors and uh, number of machines available. So our priority is to do infill sugar so that you know that is solved. Then we'll do all the drainage one. And uh, then of course this assistance will continue. And But we want to get the machines so that we can get the uh, machines on time. But Sujain is here. If you need tractor, we will work it out. Who is the tractor here? We can hire the tractor and get the work done. I'm sure then Mr. Reddy will give his tractor for hire. Yeah, yes, he will. He'll be the first one to put his hands up. Okay, thank you very much for listening to us. Commissioner, see if you want to ask any questions. You feel free, feel free to ask any questions, yeah. The tractor will be available to use it. So I understand that it was a bit late, it was uh, not in the right time, and a lot of farmers couldn't use the tractor at that particular point in time. We're looking at changing the system, either we'll have a tractor here full time or we'll outsource. Dio? Take it up with the RC? Yes. Same thing applies to the other road? That, uh, that what, what, what is that road for?